Not gonna lie, I'm pretty excited about this. $400. Suspension front and rear, because I'm too old for that hard tail, hard nose. Jazz. So far, I added a bolt for the roll cage. Give it a quick car wash. I am, it's electric start. I'm just gonna charge this car battery enough to get it to start cranking. As probably all carts that are a little bit older, it needs a lot of linkage. Uh, replacements of the ball joints for the steering. This one, I swear it's just the bolts loose. See it? So I'm gonna fix that one. And I'm probably gonna have to order some parts. The spindles are kind of loose. Tire's blown out. I need to replace the tire. I'll probably get a whole set of four, at least the fronts for now. 150 cc carbureted. The guy said it needs a carburetor. I'm not sure yet. I haven't looked into it. I doubt it needs the whole carburetor. I'll check the whole fuel system. Got a snorkel, luggage rack, headrest, seat belts, hydraulic disc brake, there's a reservoir. And perhaps the coolest part that I'm excited about being 36 years old is it has reverse and forward and it feels like neutral I think too. So yeah. But it's called a Helix 150 or 6150 I think also from American Sport Works. There's the info. What else? Oh, the steering for Japanese and domestic markets, presumably, has another weld mat where I think you can put it here because all there are under these plastic cases, there's sprockets. And instead of a rack and pinion, you can kind of see it right here. It's a chain drive. I thought it was kind of weird. I wonder if you can get different sprocket sizes. So here's some of the play. It turns about this much. Not so bad. Let's see if it cranks. It made a little clickety earlier. It does, it cranks. Try a little starting fluid. I got the snorkel on. I think I got both of the kill switches off. Not bad. Now I'm probably going to pull the plug and look at it. It is a little bit fouled. I'm going to torch this with a propane torch so it's dry and hot. Pop it back in and see if it runs again. Catch how strong the spark is. Spark is good and, it's, and it snaps one more time just like a good, you know, your mower always goes snap, pop. I'm gonna wire brush this plug and then dry it one more time. A little bit. Surprised this stopped working.
did notice the fuel filter it says flow that way it's backwards now that shouldn't stop it from flowing but if there was contaminants in it and now went straight to the carburetor so i think i'm gonna take this off and reverse it i'll probably end up pulling the carb off and checking how clean it is too this has got to be a brand new carburetor that last screw is fighting me so i'm going to use vice grips on it I'm going to take that jet out, maybe both, and make sure they're clear. You probably can't see it, but inside of here there is an aluminum shaving that could be blocking a port. Okay, so this is interesting. So it's got a vacuum-operated petcock, right? So it'll only drop you fuel when it's cranking, you got engine vacuum, or it's running. Alright, I got my vacuum pump repaired sucking on the bottom of the port and then nothing coming out but once I put some vacuum on it there it goes oh wait it's filling up both that's bad okay I got an idea Okay, check this out, because I think this is key. Doesn't hold vacuum on either port I tried. Plug the other side. It'll hold for a while. Let go, it goes down. One of them should hold vacuum, neither do. There is a vacuum diaphragm in here that must be ruptured. And my plan is to see if it's available first. And if it is, cut this one open and show you exactly where it's ruptured and what it looks like. I'm going to try to take this can oh. apart. I need to grind this little ridge off. I think it's just crimped over, essentially. So I'm going to see if I can grind that ridge off and show the insides of it. So there it is with the ridge ground. I think it's there. Let me get a paper towel. I think you can see it. Yeah, right there. Awesome. Let me soak it up. At least it's confirmed that this was definitely the vacuum port. And then that bottom one was definitely the fuel port. That little black nipple there seats on that. The rest of it's just an activator. Actuator. But yeah. A little pinhole there. Awesome.